the, the, this book right here, the Bible. Okay, you won't believe in scripture, but you'll believe in everything else that man has to show you the, the, the non-truth of things. Well, the Lord says, the Lord says that the world, the wars, the earthquakes, uh, they, when these are the signs of birth pains, these are the signs of my near, nearly approach, my my return, and not to be scared, not to be frightened, because these things must, hear my words, must happen, okay? But I don't want you to understand that you are not to find God before these things happen. You are supposed to find the Lord, your Savior, and know that He is your Savior. Okay, this corporate wealth that is coming to a demise, everybody here is supposed to be a piece of, of debt owed to the country, their country, wherever they live. And when the country's debt is is completely at its uh, peak where they cannot cannot get by another day according to the banking infrastructure they're going to tell you your money is worthless we're going to go into a new system and if you buy into this if you buy into this concept then But this won't happen that you buy into it. I tell you right now. But if you buy into the concept of um, this money thing, uh, is real and money is the end all of our lives or whatever, this is when the e eruption of your, your society or of the whole world basically will come to its, its knees. Everybody's going to be fighting each other just to survive. This is where man, it says in the Bible, your babies will be your food. Man will eat their children. Fathers will kill their sons, and sons will kill their fathers. This is why the believers, the ones that know Christ, know His words. I'm not even saying a Christian, a person that calls himself a Christian, is going to make it through this because they're not going to understand because they they believe everything is all fluffy 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 oh everything's good because all satan wants to do is deceive you into uttering the words that are sinful oh they should be killed and i want you to kill even peter said Lord, I'll protect you with my sword. And Jesus told him, you don't know who you're listening to. Who are you listening to? Are you listening to me? If you're listening to me, you're not really listening to me because you're listening to Jesus, who Jesus who speaks through me through the power of the Holy Spirit
These are not my words. I'm doing the physical. So you can understand or feel the spiritual. The corporate world, which you are like an ant to. is ready to stomp on you and um, sorry to say as Canadians we are the, the most deceived because everything is going hunky dory hmm, prim and proper like a bed of roses in our, our land but when the, the US goes under which it's about to we will be right behind them because everything that is corporate in our country is dependent on the US our resources 80% from what I'm told go out to the US market so we can buy it back at a higher cost <laughs> that's another topic for <laughs> That's another topic. That's that's for more confusion of of this whole thing, this whole scheme of corporate corporate demise. Um, these things were planned hundreds of years ago, and they are just panning out into visibility where. It can be explained if somebody is willing to sit down and um, listen to all the things of how these this world is put together for your deception and the reason why um, these things are going at such a exponential rate right now it's coming down so fast is so you can believe, you can stay caught up in the deception. If it was to move slower, more people would be able to say, oh, you know what? That's a lot of BS. That's, you know what? That's BS. But you're telling, that's BS. And the faster you find out that BS is re, um, is going on, you're going to look for the truth. There was only one truth from the beginning. And the whole world didn't want you to believe it. This is the demise of man. There is a part of all men that is attached to the enemy that that part of you is that that negative side that says I cannot do this I can't do that this is impossible all of that is demonic in spirit in spirit, you have the strength to do whatever it is you want to do. In spirit, you attach yourself to the holy creator of all things. How could you not be able to do everything that, is that your imagination can take you to? No, I'm not talking about uh, jumping off a building and flying. I'm, we live in physical bodies. I'm talking about spiritually. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm here to tell you the truth. And I tell you the truth. That you are limitless in your bounds. But we are bound by our belief of the world our belief of this body you see you look in the mirror and you say oh I 
oh, I got a pimple today. I'm not looking that great. Mm, this is me. But that's not you. You are, you are inside. When you die, you go somewhere. You go somewhere. Your body stays wherever you flop down. That's who you are. In Genesis, I think it's the first chapter. Oh, I know it's the first chapter. But uh, I think it's verse 23. When God says to his elders, God has elders from the beginning. I think it's 23. Uh, uh, so, uh, no, it's not 23. 